Hello, and thank you so much for returning to the I Natural Body channel. This is Sonia coming to you with the cutting of our turmeric soap. Let's begin, shall we? So the first thing that I did was pulled out my 18 bar cutter. I went ahead and used it only to mark the soap so that I would know exactly where to cut using my bud cutter and I wouldn't have to put too much guesswork into it. The bud cutter allows you to adjust the soap um, size so that you can have uniformity along the entire cutting of your soap. I'm going to show you how easy it was um, to get the mold, to get the soap out of the mold. That is so not true. No, this soap was actually a bit challenging to remove out of the mold and you'll see that here. Even though it was a bit challenging to remove the loaf out of the mold, both the wooden crate and the silicone liner both withstood the cold process method, especially the silicone liner. In addition, the liner didn't have um, any tears or anything in it at all. so. I would say this liner is definitely a keeper. Also, the impression mat withstood the cold process method. If you think about the cold process method a little, the soap has to heat up to complete saponification. And so both of these products, the silicone liner, excuse me, and the impression mat, both withstood it. And the detail, oh my goodness, the detail from the impression mat, I'm definitely going to incorporate this into many more projects that I do. As you can see here, those indentations work to my benefit and it made for a uniform bore and you can barely see our um, mica that we put on the other side of the soap. But I enjoyed the cutting and the making of the turmeric soap. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave them in the description box below. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you follow along and share with me your insight and your input. And as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's continue to enjoy the cutting of our turmeric soap.